Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Rainbow Six Siege running on Intel Iris 540 graphics. This is a Core i5-6260U processor, and we are running the game at 1366 by 768 and minimal detail settings. Um, with detail, I did make a bit of a mistake in um, my HD620 video. I switched off the, I think it's temporal filtering. Um, this actually seems to degrade performance. Uh, or versus having it on. Um, so for this I've left it on. Uh, this means the results aren't really comparable with the test I did on HD620 uh, but I do have an HD520 video which I'll be uploading shortly and as we can see through this particular test we very rarely if ever see the frame rate dip below um, the 30 frame per second mark. This is quite a nice uh, thing because it just means we're not going to get that real slow down sort of sub console level frame rates um you know once you start getting low 20s and that you're going to start struggling in a first person shooter like this and we're not getting that as we can see here the average through the test was 40 frames per second which actually not too bad um i also went through one of the training missions here and again was able to get through the training mission with no major issues i'm not great at the game but um was able to go through this and yeah, I think it's going to be a playable experience. Um, you may be still at some disadvantage playing online versus um, you know other players with more powerful systems, but you do have a playable experience with the game at least. Obviously, if you are looking to improve performance a little more, you could look at lowering the resolution down to 720p uh, or even below that. I tend to favour not dropping that low uh, just because it does make the experience quite poor and can even make silly things like reading text difficult. Um, but I think with Iris 540, you do have a uh, playable experience at least. Um, if you're looking at Iris 550 as well, um, because that is basically the same chip but with higher power limits, you should see the performance improving uh, more even above what we're getting here, um, which should give you a pretty reasonable experience as well and may start pushing you towards the 60 frames per second mark um, at these settings, although we haven't been able to test it. found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well looking at gaming on other platforms and support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.